Choose one. Cut the service on two. Choose one. Just one, not two. Choose one. Dang. If I was forced to, someone was like, hey, I'm gonna punch you in the face. I, I choose. What is going on guys? My name is Nikias and today I am joined with the legendary I don't know about that one. Jonathan Morrison, how are you doing? I'm fantastic. Today we're gonna be giving you five reasons on why I prefer, or I guess why we prefer Apple Music rather than Spotify. Just wanted to throw a quick warning, if you're a Spotify user, you might get a little bit triggered, right? I'm also a little bit of a mixed bag, so. Don't, don't, don't get spoilers, because at the end of the video, um, we're gonna be saying which um, service Jonathan actually uses, and there's actually a surprise at the end, so. Stay tuned. All right, so the first reason on why I personally prefer Apple Music is Shazam. So Apple recently purchased Shazam, so you can actually Shazam music and add the music directly to your Apple Music library. Um, do you actually use Shazam in your daily life? I actually don't. Bruh. I'm How do you discover new music? Spotify. <laughs> All right, here's one which I know you're gonna not agree on, but the algorithm. A lot of people think that the Apple Music algorithm sucks, and that the Spotify one is better. I agree and disagree at the same time. I'll let you speak now because I know you're, you want to speak. No, I, I just, I think Spotify's discovery is what keeps me there. Discover Weekly. Uh, Which Apple Music has as well, but okay. I, I won't even go as far as playlists, but I think mm -hmm. just raw discovery, I think. I've found so many groups and songs because of their discovery. Yeah, well, one thing that I always tell people is like, Apple Music is more album oriented. Sure. While Spotify, the design and everything is more playlist oriented. So right. um, if you want to discover new music, you know, playlists are probably the better way to go. Um, and then Apple truly tries to define music by albums. And that's how the whole UI works. I don't know if you agree with that. Yeah, no, I think it's definitely more curated by a human. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, Spotify just seems to no, like you like this, you like this, you like this, you're gonna probably like this. And the majority of the time for me, it ends up working out. All right, the third reason why Apple Music is better is that Apple Music actually has 75 million songs instead of Spotify, which has 70. I know this might not seem a big of a deal, but five million songs is actually a lot. Here's the question. Have you ever experienced like you searching a song on Spotify and you being like, dang it. It's not there. No. I wonder what those five million songs are. All right, the fourth reason on why I personally prefer Apple Music is split the lyrics. So, you know, with lyrics, you could actually have live lyrics on Apple Music. Recently, Spotify copied that, which is awesome, you know? They both copy from each other, which is good, like this, they both improve. But Apple Music is superior because you can actually search a lyric. You know that feeling when, you know, you can't remember the title of a song? You just start typing it up, like the small thing that you remember? You can't do that with Apple Music, not with Spotify. I agree. Yeah, no, I think the visually as well on Apple TV and those things, or if you go full screen, it's a mm -hmm. very nice experience. Yeah. And now here's a word from our sponsor. On Apple Music, you currently can't do shared playlists, but with cassette, that's possible. Cassette is a new app to make shared mixtapes with your friends. You can make your own mixtape or browse the gallery for ideas, invite your friends to join the mix. They can listen and contribute music and add reactions to the song they like. Everyone gets notified when new music is added to the mix. There's also awesome features like editable cover arts directly from the app, the ability to play music directly from a new music notification, and so much more. So if you wanna start making shared playlists on Apple Music today, hit the link down in the description to download Cassette. Okay, the fifth reason, and probably your favorite, and the one that you're most excited to talk about, spatial freaking audio. Yeah, that's the future. So I always listen to spatial audio with my AirPods, with my AirPods, Pods Max, and it was an amazing experience. Jonathan sat me down in his couch. Oh. Oh. I want this in my house, please. <laughs> With great, great sounding speakers. Sure, the, I've been on a quest to find how to listen back in Spatial or Dolby mm -hmm. uh, on Apple Music that's somewhere outside of AirPods. Max or any AirPods in general, mm -hmm. right? So I've been fortunate enough to hear things in like a proper Atmos studio. And once you get to hear it, you always just kind of crave it going forward. And when you don't have it, it's just like, oh, I really wish I could listen to it in that. So we've been on this deep dive trying to find really the most affordable way to do that without getting 
wild. And I kind of hate you now because now that I've, I mean, you guys are seeing my, my expressions right now on, and my reactions, I honestly don't want to go back to my HomePod mini stereo pair. Why do you think spatial audio is the future and what do you think so far on what it can actually provide for the people from their AirPods, for example? I think that's probably the number one reason is it scales. Mm -hmm. Something as simple as AirPods or something, you know, as mid-range as what we listened on, right? Like mm -hmm. uh, Sonos, I think was probably the, f I don't want to say the first, but the best all-in-one package in terms of getting, you know, surround, a sub, uh, front, left, right, everything coming, mm -hmm. and the, where it would work with Apple TV to give you that Atmos spatial audio experience. And the, the wild part with Dolby and spatial audio, as opposed to 5.1, because there's a lot of arguments, well, 5.1 didn't work and blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah, is it'll scale as small as you want or as big as you want. Mm -hmm. So from AirPods to a living room setup to a theater with 50 or 100 speakers, when you mix it in Atmos, it scales up or down as big or as small as your platform allows. Yeah. So spatial audio is huge. And lossless audio is also something that Apple Music has and Spotify doesn't. And so far, only like the true audiophiles can truly experience lossless audio, right? Right. But rumors are saying that the upcoming AirPods Pros will have wireless lossless audio, which is a game changer. Right. right? I, I won't by any means I'm f far from an audiophile and tend to not gravitate towards that term, but mm -hmm. I do. I, I enjoy music yeah. and I think having a higher source file inevitably is going to mm -hmm. be a better thing for everybody. Yeah. And I'm, I am excited. I've always wanted mm -hmm. Apple to implement AirPlay mm -hmm. lossless. If they could somehow do that into AirPods and improve the drivers and the tech, it's exciting to see where things are headed for sure. And a bonus reason on why I personally prefer Apple Music, this is personally like my honest opinion, the design of Apple Music features the artwork mostly, while Spotify has a more risky design and they play around with different things. I would say visually, I think it's aesthetically pleasing to look mm -hmm. at Apple Music. I like that Spotify gives you a chance to mess around with splash pages. So mm -hmm. you can do, you know, moving, music video-like elements mm -hmm. of your page. Yeah, it's fun. But in terms of just pure aesthetic, Apple Music is absolutely mm -hmm. nicer to look at. The artwork is the protagonist. Sure. Apple Watch app, way much more superior on Apple Music. True. The, the biggest thing is Apple releasing lossless and spatial audio and not charging more mm -hmm. was the biggest thing because they scale it to everybody. Everybody that has an iPhone, everyone that has Apple Music, yeah. they're not having to pay extra and they can experience a taste of that mm -hmm. for not paying extra than they would somewhere else. So on January 13th, you released Startup, your fourth single, I'm right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, yes. Congrats. Congrats. Um, Want to tell us a little bit about it? Spatial Audio, by the way, was, you did a very good job. Yeah, I mean, it was probably, a culmination of the last couple of years, I've made a push into music just because I enjoy it. Loot has been one of my favorite groups for years and over the years got a chance to work with them. First video and then to transition over to get to work on a track and write a track and release a track, it's dream come true. That's why I've actually got a surprise for all of you. I've actually got a MagSafe poster signed by the man, the legend himself. Uh, if you guys want to win this in, that one in the back, you just have to comment down below your Twitter. PSA, you can also request a non-signed version. Last question, what service do you use? And I got to say, he's kind of, kind of crazy. I, yeah, I use three. I do use... Do you, do, you want me to, do you want me to kick him out of this video? Honestly, who I, uses three services? I have a... What type of person uses three services? I, I like to... To, to know, to experience, to see what each platform offers. Mm -hmm. and the, As an artist or as like a content creator? Both, as mm -hmm. someone who wants to make music and someone who just nerds out over audio. Mm -hmm. I think I've always, up until the lossless spatial audio, I have been hard Spotify. And Apple made it very compelling to jump over to that side with lossless, with spatial. Spatial for me, was the most exciting thing I've seen in a long time, just because I feel like it's the future of music. And then I- and That's that's really powerful. Like yeah. That's the future of music. Absolutely. Um, and I, I also, you know, low key was always on Tidal because mm -hmm. prior to Apple Music, they were 
the best. The in highest terms quality. Of quality. And I think, weirdly enough, uh, Spotify's discovery, but Tidal's playlists, their curated playlists are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And they do a lot of good things in terms of supporting artists. And it's, it's more creator-based. And now they have things where you can support the artists you like directly and make sure they're getting paid more. So there's truly, for me, not one perfect system. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, Tidal is the number one who pays uh, most. Correct. Number two is Apple Music, Correct. number three is Spotify. Correct. So if you want to support the artist, I mean Spotify. No. Yeah, there's no perfect, there's no perfect. <laughs> Choose one for the video. Like, Choose one for the audience. They, they've been waiting. You're asking if I had to- Choose one. Cut the service on two. Choose one, just one, not two. Choose one. Dang. <sighs> if I was forced to, someone was like, hey, I'm gonna punch you in the face. I, I choose Apple Music for Spatial.